John, I, I know it, it didn't, you didn't score to start the third period on the power play, but did that power play to begin the third kind of get you guys going mm -hmm. in the right direction? Yeah, and that's all we wanted. Uh, we had some great chances. Um, but it gave us some momentum, and uh, I, I felt we were playing well, even though we were losing six or seven minutes of that second period. I thought we lost a little bit of our checking. But other than that, I thought uh, uh, we checked away from the puck. We kept our patience when we were down, didn't open up. And uh, it's a really good win for our team to win a game that way. You could tell both teams were mandated to play defense. They, they lose 5-1 to one in Carolina. Uh, I thought we were sloppy, uh, a real sloppy team, even though in our win, both teams checked well, and uh, we stayed with and found a way. John, you've had a few games like this in the early going. Why, why are you finding success when you're on the ropes for long stretches? Why are you handling that differently? Well, I, I just think there's a different attitude in the room. I, I do. I, I, it, our, our whole whole thought process going into camp and, uh, and going through camp was just trying to take it each day at a time and uh, not talk about anything except just trying to gain some respect in the league. And you do that by doing it one day at a time. So uh, um, we've had, a, you know, first 14 games or so, month and a half or so of the season, there's been some uh, uh, days that we've struggled with our practice and, and a couple of our games, but for the most part, I just think they've come into work. And uh, tonight was a good test for them against a really good team, um, and especially with their patience. They didn't get antsy. They didn't uh, get nervous and try to uh, beat guys one-on-one -on -one, because that's when the odd man rushes go the other way. So we just stayed with our game. So I, I'm, I'm really impressed with our patience tonight. John, some of the guys said that the words that came in the second intermission between second and third and about stepping up in the third came from the guys in the room. Yeah. When you talk about establishing this culture and setting a new attitude here, is, is that an encouraging sign for you? Yeah. It, 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 well, if we're going to be able to do, if we're going to gain some respect in this league, that room has to take, it has to self-sustain. Uh, we'll direct them and, and, and be guidance counselors, but they have to buy in it themselves and, uh, and help one another. So. The, the room is, uh, it, it's, a, it's an identity win. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction for your culture. Um, and so, you know, we're always an analytic about our team and this and that. And tonight's a good win for them. They should feel really good about themselves as far as how they handle themselves. And uh, I'm happy for them. Nick Felino said he's recommended that Dan Singleton get a larger office. Yeah, he just yeah. how how big does that change the huge? And and we're we're focused on all of us are looking at the uh, the Hawkeye there, and we're looking at interference in front of that because there's so much st stuff going on. They're ready to drop the puck, and that's when Danny called Lars. Lars yelled at me, and we got their attention before the puck was dropped. Uh, he got the hat. I'm not sure. Is that what, what do they call it? Is that what they call it? The, the who? Cappy. The cappy or whatever they want, yeah. <laughs> well, what's that called on the bench? Isn't that Hawkeye? In the floor? It's like a floor cam. Yeah. He, he, Danny has the Hawkeye in his office, and we have it on the bench. We're, we're fast forward and rewind and looking at if there's any interference on Bob. Right before uh, the puck was being dropped, Danny rewound it back further, and you could see the offside, and that's when he yelled to us. So Danny Singleton should get a pay hike. And uh, um, that's a tough job for a video coach now, with the amount of pressure that comes with that. As far as especially those offside calls, um, it, great job by Danny. We went, the coaches went right into his room right after the game to make sure we congratulated him first, and then the team stood up for him too. So it was really good. John, we, we were talking about Cam earlier, and you're talking about you you trust him in any situation. The effort on that PK at the end, where he's like down on all fours doing yeah. anything he can to get the puck out, and then he ends up scoring, yeah. which was his first, I think, even strength goal of the season. Yeah. It, 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 huge kill at the end. And uh, I, don't, I, I don't think we gave him that much. But yeah, Cam, Cam is uh, beginning to find himself. Um, I give Doobie a lot of credit there. Jack throws one off his face, and then Doobie doesn't miss a shift. And, and he was our best face-off guy all night, wins a huge face-off. 
and hopefully that helps Cam. I, I, you know, I, I'm still, there's still some concern with his five on five play, uh, uh, but hopefully that'll help him. It's a huge goal, but some of the other things he did away from the puck was uh, very important for us tonight. About the situation with Scott Harrington coming in cold with maybe t maybe 10 minutes to spare? Yeah, he That's just barely got there and, and we had him on the right side. He's never played right side and uh, uh, he gives us 15, 16 solid minutes. Uh, sometimes it's almost best that you don't have to think about that you're playing. You just come in and throw the uniform on and play. I thought he gave us some really good minutes. His first chance with us and uh, against that team, uh, some of the people they can throw over the bench, he played really well. Prouder just uh, ended up getting locked up a little bit, yeah, and uh, uh, it was it was it was during warmups, and so it was a, uh, a pretty. It, Harry was here. We told him to throw his stuff on, and uh, and he played really well. It's it's a really good situation to come into that and and do the things he did tonight for us. So it's really good stuff. Thank you.